Ben and Galileo, the Earth's orbit and rotation. Supernova! That was awesome! Let's see that last shot, Galileo. Hey, Dottie. Hey, Scotty. What you doing? Hey, big brother. We were kind of wondering where the sun goes every night. We figured you'd know. Every day it's here, but at night it just disappears. I asked Scotty, but... I'm thinking the sun gets eaten by the giant spotted moon frog from planet Flubar. Well, I think I can help clear up the mystery. See, even when it's night and the sun seems to have disappeared, it's always shining somewhere on Earth. And that's because the Earth spins round and round. Galileo, dome light on. Okay, so imagine that Galileo is the sun. And you guys will be the Earth. Go ahead and stand back to back. Dottie, what do you see right now? No sun. It's very dark. Oh, hey! Like night! That's right! Just like now, the part of the Earth we're on has turned away from the sun. For us, it's nighttime. But on Scotty's side of Earth, the side facing the sun... It's light! It's daytime! Exactly! But like I said, the Earth doesn't just sit there, it spins. It rotates. Now it's daytime on my part of the Earth. And night for me. No sun. And I'm happy to say, no giant spotted moon frogs from planet Flumbar. I hear they smell awful. Now, keep rotating like the Earth, round and round. Day and night all depends on whether you're turned towards or away from the sun. Every day, as the Earth rotates, People face towards the sun during the daytime and face away from the sun at nighttime. When it's the middle of the day on one side, it's the middle of the night on the other. Middle of the day! Middle of the night! Middle of the day! Middle of... Okay, this side of Earth is getting dizzy! When our part of the Earth is moving into the sunlight, we call that sunrise. And when our part of the Earth is moving from sunlight into darkness, we call that sunset. So when it's sunrise on one side of the planet, say in France, halfway around the world, it's just past sunset in Hawaii. Whoa, that's a lot of rotation. And get this, the Earth not only rotates round and round, it also travels all the way around the sun. While it only takes a day for the Earth to spin around once, it takes a whole year for the Earth to orbit around the sun. And while it's doing that, depending on where you are on Earth, it'll feel like summer, or fall, or winter, or spring. Wait a minute! If it takes one year for the Earth to orbit around the sun, and I'm six years old? Then I've traveled around the sun six times! That's right! You got it! And speaking of getting it, Galileo, how about showing us that last shot of my super stellar ramp landing? Cosmo! <laughs> Thank you for watching my video. Don't forget to subscribe!